So now in this video, we have a couple of PNP bipolar junction transistors here wired as a current mirror. So we have the emitters to the uh, positive supply. And uh, so that means at the base here, it's going to be about 0.6 volts less on uh, both of them right there. But now we have the uh, base there uh, tied to the collector of the transistor that we want to set the current. So we could do more than uh, one other transistor here. We could add uh, more. And um, I don't know how many more, but um, we could add more. So any case, because it's drawing current, so at some point it's probably going to throw it off a little bit. So uh, we have about 4.4 uh, volts at this point and uh, that's going to go across this resistance here and this is ultimately about 4400 ohms so we're keeping this approximate right there so 4.4 volts divided by 4400 ohms math is fairly easy is about one milliamp of current right there and uh, so ultimately that transfers over to uh, this transistor it just conducts enough to get uh, one milliamp of current to flow because that's what we set there and now we got the uh, multimeter here um, we only need to move the red probe for this meter if we're measuring high current so above like 600 milliamps here we can just go to the uh, milliamp setting right there if there are numbers set it to a number of uh, measurement of uh, current than what you expect to uh, measure and uh, so this is auto ranging though we don't have to worry about that and there you can see slightly less than a one milliamp of current basically one milliamp of current flow in there and uh, we'll go to the uh, collector of the transistor it's uh, basically the same uh, one milliamp of current there I will take another LED and put it in series right here and uh, it bent out of shape a little bit and uh, again we should get about one milliamp of uh, current and I think it goes down slightly as the transistor doesn't get as warm um, I think that might be one uh, reason why it's going down a little bit but there you can see it's holding you know pretty uh, steady at about one milliamp of current with each of them right there um, make sure to turn the meter off when you are done so yeah we'll zoom in and uh, there's uh, the math I did to get an approximate one milliamp of current and also it depends quite a bit on uh, the uh, transistors are facing to the left by the way that puts the emitter on the top and I had some issues um, with how the components are connecting as well um, so I got them so that they're connecting okay so we could get our measurement just thought I'd point that out this is an older breadboard though um, new breadboard I don't think uh, you might have uh, that problems so there you can see emitter base collector with uh, both the transistors the same uh, we tied the base together we tied their emitters together um, but this one its base and its collector are tied together if we had like more transistors none of their uh, base to collectors would be tied together the one that sets the current has them tied together so that is it uh, for this video hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.